Strix is a series that we've now had for a couple of different product categories, including our graphics cards, but it's now going to be replacing our previous generation pro gaming line. One of the things that you've seen from ASUS as a whole is we've gone to trying to be able to provide better clarity uh, to each one of the respective series that we have from our motherboard line. And what it's really uh, um, about is ultimately being able to provide gamers a, a more cost accessible segment in terms of where it sits in the landscape, but still be focused on innovation, performance oriented design and quality. So very much all the same attributes that drive ROG, uh, but instead of getting uh, purposeful per generation improvements, we're kind of more using a trickle down approach. So all the cutting edge features and design concepts that we tend to roll out first on ROG, they're moving down into the Strix family. So directly it's going to be replacing the Pro Gaming. So for the previous generation that would have been the Z170 Pro Gaming and the Z170 Pro Gaming Aura. Um, when you're usually talking anywhere between about that $150 to $200 price point, uh, that's usually what you kind of refer to as that sweet spot in terms of picking a board that's got awesome feature set, performance and functions and all that stuff. And so this is where the Strix is definitely bang on right there in that category. We've got three specific versions. We're going to be predominantly talking here about the Dash E version, so the highest end. So that incorporates some really cool innovative features like industry leading front USB 3.1 connection and some other cool stuff. But we'll have the F version and the H versions, which just are minor drop downs. So you might pull away things like the front USB 3.1, Wi-Fi, or maybe RGB lighting connectivity. But pretty much all the other key specs that we're talking about are all going to be present. So I think the most exciting part about of Strix is the fact that it speaks to a, a real big uh, ask from our community, which is to try to make ROG more accessible. So we think that that's what makes Strix the most exciting, is, is that we're bringing that balance of still giving you everything you've asked for in terms of uh, those key wants from enthusiasts, but while maintaining a little bit more aggressive price point, but still not really pulling anything back. You're not going to really feel like you're losing a huge amount. So in terms of the Strix from an aesthetic design perspective, I think it's one of the most interesting perspectives when you talk about the look and feel of the board. It's super clean. It's got angular lines to it, which I think look really fresh and modern. There's two RGB lighting zones, one for the PCH and then another one in the uh, actual IO shroud. But then also evolving on what we've done in previous generations, you've got the two RGB headers. So if you're looking to be able to go ahead and extend your lighting control to LED strips, uh, integrated LED lighting on a chassis, uh, DRAM, graphics cards, uh, of course, our ASUS Aura Sync initiative, you're gonna be able to synchronize all of those. So in terms of Z270, I think one of the most interesting things always uh, from a chipset perspective is uh, the I.O. And 270 is really stacked. Uh, one of the key benefits, of course, is you have more PCI Express lanes. So that's going to give you more flexibility at having dual M.2 configurations, NVMe drives, USB 3.1, 3.0, even Thunderbolt. Um, uh, regardless of how you want to cut the different type of I.O. usage on these type of boards, there's going to be tons of flexibility and all the key specifications you're interested in are going to be present. So it doesn't really matter what type of build you're looking for, whether it's uh, dual GPU configurations, single GPU configurations or mixed storage configurations, it's all going to be achievable. Strix uh, really derives all of its overclocking capabilities from the proven technologies that are actually from our mainstream series and our ROG series of motherboards. We're big fans of the audio tuning experience that we have through our fiber optimization software. So you can jump in there, dial in specifics, whether you want to target a CPU frequency, a specific voltage, even a specific temperature, and then set all types of custom duration parameters like testing your memory, the amount of time that you want to stress test your system, and have that all be dynamic, specific to your CPU, your cooling solution, your memory, even your power supply. It's the absolute easiest way to overclock a system and really realize the investment that you made in all your hardware. So one of the things that we take really seriously on uh, all of our gaming uh, motherboards is going to be audio design. And so definitely for the Strix, while it doesn't feature the same ultra high-end design that we feature on our RG series motherboards like the Hero and the Formula, uh, you're still giving an awesome upgraded experience. So we still have full audio isolation, audio grade capacitors. We're going to have an operational amplifier. So that means you're going to be able to really punch up the volume, open up the sound stage on your headphones, not only for the front headphone output, but also for your line level output. And even subtle things that you might not always be cognizant of, like a depop filter, which helps to minimize popping when you restart or shut down your system. Uh, we've got that all incorporated in terms of the hardware design. In regards to the fan control uh, functionality and flexibility, definitely Strix doesn't compromise on really what we've 
had be our, our non-negotiable base of so making sure that the fan control experience you have is outstanding. So just like our previous generation and our current generation boards, whether it's ROG, the Prime, or the Tough Series, uh, every single header on here in terms of a chassis fan header is going to have DC and PWM uh, output control. So you can do three pin fans or four pin fans. You can fully calibrate them. You can profile them. Uh, you can control things like the ramping speed. You can do this in the UEFI or you can do this in the operating system. We're also bringing over features that we introduced on the high-end X99 and ROG series like uh, temperature input mapping so that if you want the ability to have different uh, fan headers respond to different temperature sources including the GPU for this generation, it's really going to allow you uh, to have a level of granularity and control that it's been unprecedented. You've never seen these options available in a motherboard. About the only really big difference that you're going to have uh, from the ROG series is that ROG does have some dedicated uh, water cooling enthusiast connections for full custom water cooling loops. But definitely for Strix, you're still covering the widest base because you're going to have dedicated headers uh, for water pumps as well as dedicated headers for all-in-one pumps. So that along with the extensive level of onboard fan connectivity and even support for our fan extension cards still means you're going to get the absolute best uh, fan controls and connectivity in the industry. So networking, uh, equally like on the ROG series of motherboards, is of an extreme importance here. So we're still using the tried and true proven uh, Intel solution, which gives you outstanding UDP performance, uh, which is really important because pretty much all games uh, from an online connection use UDP packets. So it consistently performs the best. The overall uh, quality and performance are really elevated for this generation and for users that want control, of course, we've got packet priority control software, so if you want to be able to customize uh, whatever it is that you're running actively through your network, that can easily be done through our software. I think one of the most exciting things about the Strix series, and as a whole really for the ASUS 270 line of motherboards um, on Newegg specifically, is that you're going to have the ability to have the most complete uh, bundled experience possible. So when you talk about being able to leverage things like our amazing fan control functionality or the RGB lighting, it's really going to be the best one-stop shop. You're going to be able to go ahead and pick up your AuraSync enabled uh, keyboard and mouse or LED strips or compatible chassis or pair that up with the Strix enabled graphics card. And so it makes it easiest that if you're really looking to be able to build an awesome gaming system, System. You can do it, uh, I think, in the most convenient fashion while also getting edified by watching you know, this type of great kind of content.